Hello guys, welcome to Physics Hub. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very important problem from classical mechanics section. Without any further delay, let us start the question. The question reads like this. Consider circular orbits in central force f of r equals to minus k by r to the power n, where k is greater than 0 and uh, n lies between 0 and 2. If the time period of uh, a circular orbit of radius r is t1 and that of radius 2 r is t2, then what is the ratio of t2 and t1? What is given to us? We are given the force f of r equals to minus k by r to the power n. Now we have to consider circular orbits. So what do you know for circular orbit? For circular orbit, we know the condition is del v effective by del r at r equals to r naught should be equals to 0. Now what is this del v effective? So, firstly, you calculate V effective. What is V effective? V effective equals to, you know, it is L square by twice M R square plus V of R. Now, you are given force, but here in this expression, you, are, you have um, potential. And the condition is del V effective by del R. So, we just take derivative with respect to R. So, del V effective by del r this will become l square by twice m r square so it will become minus a uh, look l square by 2 m will remain constant and this 2 will go to the minus r to the power minus 2 so minus 2 r q okay so minus 2 will come here and that is why a minus sign is there and it will become r q and v of r this is you see del v by del r this will become del v upon del r and this del v upon del r equals to minus f of r so this is equals to zero so we can write this l square by m r q and this is you can write this minus sign is there and if you bring this minus sign so you can write this is equals to k by r to the power n so we are getting l square by m r q equals to k by r to the power n now you know that l equals to m r square omega so if you put this value in this expression what will you get you will get l square means m square r to the power 4 minus square divided by m r cube m r cube this is equals to k upon r to the power n so k upon r to the power n so what will you produce m m r cube will give you r okay so what you are getting you are getting omega square equals to k by r to the power n plus 1 okay you are getting that into m k by m into r to the power uh, n plus 1. So, you can write omega square it is proportional to 1 by r to the power n plus 1. Therefore, omega is proportional to 1 by r to the power n plus 1 upon 2. Now, you have to find out the proportionality of the time period. Time period. So, what will be the time period? Time period t goes to 2 pi upon omega. So, it is proportional to 1 upon omega. It means it is proportional to r to the power n plus 1 upon 2. Okay, 1 upon omega. So, it becomes 1 by this thing. So, 1 by, so r to the power n plus 1 by 2. Now, for two different radius, the time period is given. So, we can utilize that. So, what will be the time period ratio? T2 by T1. T2 by T1 equals to. T2 is having radius 2r and T1 is having radius r, so 2r by r into to the power n plus 1 by 2. So this will become 2 to the power n plus 1 upon 2. So this is the correct option and it is matching with option A. So I hope you have understood this solution. If you have any question, query, you can ask me in the comment section and guys you can also join on an academy for CSR is net physics preparation. I teach there and you can utilize our referral code physics hub to get 10% off on overall fees. Thank you very much guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.